It's a special occasion when when somebody graduates and when somebody gets off parole. Um, I almost, you know, got tears come to my eyes because these are the first guys that have been doing it. And most of these guys have been working really hard the whole time that they've been in this program. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any gold awards, but um, I'm working on it, you know. And these guys are all an inspiration to me. And this program has benefited me. It's helped me to get all the help that I needed out there. And I got my medications going and got, got my HIV meds, everything that I needed. This, this court helped me with and I've been out for 16 months because of this court if, if, if this court wasn't here I, I know that I would have been violated at least once you know and and uh, Judge Talbert it was you know he's been real with us I never he, the funny thing is the second time that I came into this 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 uh, program the second day I came into this program um, the judge it was a Christmas party and the judge was up there on, on his stand and he played the saxophone now when I seen a judge up on his stand playing the saxophone I said well, this is the place that I need to be you know and since then he's never let us down you know he's always been there for us and the guys that have went back definitely needed to go back you know and because they were it was just things that we can't do that none of us would put up with you know let alone anybody out here in, in free society it's something that the, the, it's unfortunate, but but it's just not allowed in either system. Whether you're a, a, a felon or a convict, and you have to go by convict rules when you're inside, them are things you don't do. And so, I find that the the counselors are great. They, they're there for you. They'll find anything that you need for you. Um, the council, we got our own lawyer here. So if anything happens to us, we have a lawyer that helps us and takes us through anything that we need to go through. Where else are we ever going to find this? Because most of us don't have money. We never can afford We could never afford our own lawyers, okay? And this, this court gives us our own lawyer. To me, it saved my life, you know? And that's all I can say, guys. Okay. Blue, how are you? Okay, <clears throat> a little depressed this week and a little disoriented. Um, it was a year ago this week that my partner of 30 years died, and, and so it's um, kind of a bad time for me. But um, the good news is that um, the newsletter will be done tomorrow for the court, and it's, it's gone through. Um, now, we were talking about the newsletter. Are we going to be able to distribute it on Thursday, do you think? It'll be ready tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. And there, it tells me that he can print it up here. That's so great. be ready for you. That's great. Um, oh, and speaking of which, um, if maybe you could give me five minutes for four questions today, um, we could get them in to the newsletter. Sure. Yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to do that. I've been limited to four questions to your teacher. Have, have you been talking to any of these guys? I talk to these guys all the time. Is that right? Yeah. I'm, in a, I'm in about, uh, have you interviewed any of these guys or, talk, or talked to them about the program? or? Um, I meant I meant the you know your your colleagues your fellow participants. Well, they're pretty busy too, but um, Kelly's talked to me and and Alex has talked to me and well I get to hear about Edward all the time uh, and yeah. so so I hear a lot about him and the guys they're willing to work with me. Okay, you know? great. Well, for those that that who don't know it, um, um, Blues uh, a very good writer and he's and he's published. Um, I think poetry as well as prose, and uh, and he is our the editor of our of our newsletter. Um, for those of you who may not know, and um, we're going to have the first issue um, for this Thursday, mm -hmm. which I think is great. Uh, I'm, I I want to get back to the first thing you said, and I don't want to spend a lot of time on it because I know that it, it's it's a very painful, difficult subject. Yeah. I just want to tell you that I really am am sorry for your loss, and, uh, and I know that the whole team and everyone here feels the same way. And if there's something that we can do to help, um, please let us know. Yeah. Eric also got me an appointment with Eric's psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. uh, but it's okay. You know, it's just another thing you, you know, that we go through. It's part of life. Yeah. You know, it sucks, but you know, we move on. You know, mm -hmm. I've got a lot of support at home, so, you know. That's good. And, but sometimes I've went through the whole day, and I did both my jobs and everything, and I don't even remember doing it, but everything I did a good job because I would think when I got home, you know. So, but uh, um, my psychiatrist is that battle pass, you know. You know, but the good news also is um, my T-cells are way up. 
I I tasted it in my HIV is undetectable now because of methanol and the diabetes I don't have to ingest it anymore. I just have to take the pill. So on the one hand, part of my health is really good. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. It's 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 sort of like it's mixed. I know. Life, is, but that's you know um, part of part of being successful in life is being able to handle you know the positive and the negative and not let the negative kind of overcome you. Yeah, I've always been pretty good. You know. Apparently, I know. I know from from things you've told us. Uh, thank you, and and can you be here on Thursday? Yes, I will. All right, thank, thank you. you. I'll be here tomorrow. Actually, get All right, and you're going to be relapsed at noon. Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay.